looks like he caught some fish. Looks like Quammen just had himself a solid lunch. That was quick. There were only bones left of his catch. Them bones. Them dry bones. The remains of Quammen's catch, and a very convenient shape it is, if I may say so. Like a hook. It's Quammen. He looks happy now that the Orlowal let him have his old fishing spot back. Did my Laura work okay? It'd be working very good. Quammen catch a large, tasty fish very quickly. April be wanting a taste? Uh, no. No offense. I'm just not too fond of seafood. This not be seafood. It be human food. Huh. What's Quaman gonna be doing now? Quaman be sitting here until the sun sets. Then he be going to sleep. And tomorrow? Quaman be deciding that. When he wakes up in the morning. Man, you got relaxing down to a fine art. Kwama not be knowing anything about fine art. He be a Philistine. I'll see you later, <laughs> Kwama. So will I. Goodbye. Ah, uh, Kwama's a good guy. It's Kwama's fishing rod. I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon. But I'll borrow the line. Oh, yeah, the line might work. Let's see if the stickmen like it. show it to Wick first, or he'll freak out. After all, he's the, um, supervisor. <laughs> Stroke the ego. Can you use this as bowstring for your, uh, lunar cannon? Let me see that. Oh, yeah, that gonna work good. All right, listen up. I got us what we need. And now we finish this damn cannon. Go to work, people. Give us a few minutes, lady, and we'll be all done. It worked. Of course it worked, you wood-brained fool. I built it. Ta-da! A lunar cannon. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? Well what? Are you gonna do it? Do what? Test the cannon. Me? And get myself killed? I think not. But go ahead, be my guest. I don't think I'll fit in there. That ain't my problem. <laughs> well, if we can't fire ourselves, maybe we can make a grappling hook. Hook plus rope is grappling hook. I'll just place the hook along the bowstring, like so, and let the rope trail behind it. Okay, we're ready to fire. Can I test the cannon? Be my guest. Oh, lever. Okay. Fire. Oh, that worked. It's an 
updraft here. Looks like the road has caved in again over here. There's a slight updraft here. The wind is channeled through that chasm down there and blown out and up here. And there's an elation. It's a leathery creature with wings, like a mix between a giant bat and a pterodactyl. It must be one of the elation. It looks more like a warrior than a storyteller, though. I hope it speaks English. I mean, all tongue. Can you help me across? You are human, and we don't allow human strangers into our village. If you wish to trade, let us know where your ship is anchored, and we will send traders to you with our merchandise. I don't have a ship, and I didn't come here to trade. I came to talk to your leaders. I'm sorry, but we don't allow strangers into our village. <laughs> Actually, I am a traitor. I was lying. What's up this road? The Alation village of Tama. Tama. -a. Is there another way to get into the volcano? No. This pass is the only way. I'm sure there's a secret cave somewhere that leads into the volcano. No. There isn't. <laughs> There's always a secret cave. Not here. Are you absolutely sure there's no secret cave? Human, you talk too much, even for an elation. <laughs> Fine, we'll go search for the secret cave ourselves. Thank you. Yes, but you must leave now. Well, if he's not going to help us, we're going to have to help ourselves. If the wind is blowing and we make ourselves light, we can just float across. Oh, God, I think I'm going to throw up. That was so not appetizing. Weirdest thing, though. I do feel lighter. Like I lost 90 pounds. I can't even imagine what people would pay for this stuff back home. Whoa, I'm flying! Not. I guess I still weigh too much to be carried on that slight updraft. <laughs> that was almost cool, and then it just fizzled. Let's increase the wind then. That's the last of it, unfortunately. Ah! Whee! across the chasm. You don't have wings, but still, you fly like the elation. Believe me, I'm as shocked as you are. Are you the Windbringer? <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> oh. We could just go ahead and say yes, because we seem to have be collecting titles recently, but... Uh, just to be on the safe side. What's the Windbringer? It's a prophecy amongst my people. Of course, there's no escaping the prophecies. It's said that someone not of the elation shall come among us to float on the wind like an elation, to learn our stories, to bring the wind back to us, and to bring us into a new and happier age. Is that all? You know, I'm starting to forget how simple my life used to be. Family, friends, grades, boys, no prophecies, nobody looking to me for salvation. I don't understand, Windbringer. You should speak with our teller up in the city. She'll be wanting to see you, I'm sure. We've waited for the Windbringer for a very long time. The teller? Thanks. No, Windbringer. Thank you. Da, da 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 We're the Windbringer, and so we will go to the Elation Village in the next video.